Sometimes people feel like they've got tight hip <laughs> You think you have tight hip flexors? They might just be weak. Hi guys, Tom Morrison here, and today we're going to give you an awesome test that will tell you whether your hip flexors need more stretching or if they need strengthened. Many people get caught up stretching all the time with no lasting results. They always feel that they need to stretch more. It's often forgotten that the same movement patterns that tighten the hip flexors, like sitting, also cause them to get weaker as well. So, to test if your hip flexors are weak, you're going to do this simple test, which involves you just lifting up your leg with assistance from your hands. If you let go and you can maintain the height of your leg, then you're awesome. If we restart again and we let go and the leg drops down and you're nowhere near the height of what you were with the assistance, then this shows that you are a little bit weak on it and you're not yet 100% awesome. Make sure you do this test on both sides and you'd be looking for a difference in either side as well. If you find that one's a lot stronger than the other one, then that would be something that you would want to work on as well. So if you can do this test quite easily and you notice that the leg doesn't drop, then yes, stretching would be something to focus on. And I would highly recommend that you check out our How to Do the Couch Stretch Correctly video. That's quite hard to say, but go and check that out and it will really help you to get the most out of that stretch. If you can't keep the leg up, <laughs> If you can't keep the leg, <laughs> why is that sound so rude in my head? If you can't do this test easily, <laughs> if you can't do this test easily, then this next exercise is for you. <laughs> Attach a band around a rig or a post, and what you're going to do is put your foot in, and you're going to do a half march drill. So the opposite side arm should come up with the opposite side leg, and then you're just going to do this for reps. You're going to do this for one minute on each side and really work on pulling up that hip flexor as well. Think about pelvis position, you don't want your bum back like this, just lifting the leg. Tuck yourself under and think about standing up from the front. You should be aware of your lower abs when you're doing this. You're not going to be going to that same full range, but this will really carry over to the test and really help you to get that strength into the hip flexors. Make sure that when you're doing both sides that one foot isn't flaring away out to the side on you and the other one's going up straight. You want both the feet to be going straight forward whenever you're doing this drill. After you've done both sides for that minute on each side, then go straight back into retesting and see have you made an improvement on the initial test. And if not, then you want to continue doing the drill. If you're quite lucky, you might notice straight away that just works for you and that's great. But if you don't, then you want to keep working on it. If you need to regress this drill further, then you could lie down and go through hip flexion that way. There are benefits to that, but ideally I'd want you to build up to the standing variation until you find it incredibly easy. Keep using this drill in your warm-ups until you find a noticeable improvement on the test. Stronger hip flexors will mean that the tightness will not feel the need to be there anymore. And you shouldn't need to do the drill as often. One of my big focus points with mobility drills is they should be so effective that you don't feel the need to do them all of the time. If you're constantly working on one drill without long-term improvement, then that is a sign that you're not working on the cause of your problem. Always remember that weakness can cause the feeling of tightness, so stretching may not always be the answer. The hip flexor is only one element of having strong and healthy hips. There are a lot more components that make the hips feel good and feel healthy as well. So I would highly recommend that you go over to my website, tommorrison.uk, and check out the blog, The Complete Hip Conundrum, or you could just jump straight into the Simplistic Mobility Method from the shop. Thank you for watching.